talking about Reu um, CMS, and I'm positive that's the right name for it. Um, but Lucy Cushman is here, um, and I know she's brought some materials. Do you need to hold these yes. up? Is that why? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I know it's late, um, but if you could just give us five minutes. <laughs> um, I want to say I've been here longer than anyone else in this room. I guarantee it. And I, I'm interested in that all the proposals we're seeing tonight, everyone's telling me how much it will cost on a $400,000 house, and that's our thing. That was <laughs> Obviously, we're trending, so let's hope it goes through. <laughs> Um, my name is Lucy Cushman. I'm co-chair of the CMS Renewal Project. And with me tonight, I've been Bronson and Rachel Jefferson, who are staff members on that committee with me. Um, our committee has been working for over two years to get this project off the ground. We, last year, we got a majority vote, 52%, but it takes 60 for a bond. So we really need people to get out a week from today and get this done. 20 years ago, I chaired the committee to build the middle school. We had a plan for more classrooms and an extra elevator. People said it's too much money. And besides, obviously, the middle school population is going to decrease rapidly <laughs> over the next 20 years. And you will have a lot of empty rooms, so cut some out. So classrooms were cut out, and a second elevator was cut out. Now, why we put the one elevator we put in in the back of the building, I don't have an answer for that. That was, that was stupid. But now we want to put one toward the front. Population of the middle school has remained relatively steady over the last 20 years. It's gone up, it's gone down. It's, it's pretty steady. People move to our SAU. And remember, we're not just talking Stroud, we're talking the other five towns, Exeter, Brentwood, Newfields, East Kingston, and Kensington. They moved to our district where the houses are more expensive than they are in Raymond and some of the other places around here. So the people tend to have kids at the middle and high school level. So how many kids there are in each elementary school in our SAU is not really a key to telling how many kids are going to be in our middle school. We needed, we had the kids for more classrooms 20 years ago, so we created traveling teams. That didn't go over well. So about 10 years ago, they reconfigured classrooms, changed rooms around, and this building was, bent, was built to morph, but it's morphed out. We now have music rooms next to instructional classrooms. So we have this young man playing the flute and this young woman trying to take a math test in adjoining rooms and even with the best soundproofing, it doesn't work. So it's, it's really not working. Things have been reconfigured as much as they can be. We need more classrooms. When we built the middle school, this part of the downstairs was reinforced in anticipation of someday putting more classrooms over it so we can do that. Another uh, mistake we made was with the cafeteria. If any of you have ever been to the middle school, cafeteria does not work. The kitchen is in the middle, and the kids have two sides to eat in. We want to take the kitchen out and put more classrooms over it, but also leave that whole space for kids to have lunch. Instead of six lunches, we'd have three. The gym. We have one gym. At some times, there are 90 middle schoolers in the gym at the same time. Now, that's not one teacher with 90 kids. It's three teachers with 30 kids each. But I don't know about you, but <laughs> my grandchildren are in middle school. I would not want to be in a gym with 90 of them doing physical things at one time. It's, it's not safe. It's not a good idea. And it's very limiting. There are very few. Um, there are no extracurricular sports teams for sixth graders, and they need to have, they need to have intramural classes. We need to have, go back to what we started with at the middle school, which was a, everybody gets to be on a team. If you want to play basketball, you can play basketball. You can play 
competitive with other school basketball, or you can play with people in your own class or the class one below or one above you. But you all get to do a sport if you want to try it. You don't have to be um, a superstar. So we, we need the gym. We want to take the music and put it over here by the auditorium where they can make all the noise they want. And 90% of the students at the middle school are involved in music, either orchestra, band, or chorus. And that's amazing. And we want to encourage that. Last year it cost 21 plus million dollars. A year later, it's 23 million. But for Stratum, and that's what I meant when I said we started this, it, well, if you live in an average home, $400,000, it will cost you an extra $143. So if your house is way more expensive than that, it will cost you more. But if your house is less expensive, it will cost you less. But we ask you to really, really think about voting yes on this. We need to get this done. But it takes 60% of all the people voting in all six towns to get the, a bond passed. And we need to get this done and get going for our kids. As it is, second graders are the first ones, to, the kids who are in second grade today are the ones who will benefit from this project. Well, they, the full benefit. The so full benefit. Fourth graders, current fourth graders would see some of Because what will happen them. is they would probably start in the summer and maybe like build the new gym and then they would take the parts of, they would put classes in the gym and use, you know, while they renovate because they can't do major construction projects while kids are in school. Okay, Lucy, I wanna let people ask questions. Okay. And I definitely want people to eat some of these goodies or else um, we're not gonna be able to do anything so long. Is 60% of all the towns cumulate together, or is it 60% in each town? No, if, if 10,000 people vote in all six towns, if 10,000 people vote, and 650 of them vote yes, we're good. But Stratum was the only town last year that Last passed year, Stratum got to 60%. Exeter and Kensington both passed it, the other th uh, no, and Newfields, sorry. Brentwood, East Kingston, and Kensington said no. Um, I, I just wanted to add one other additional point. To, it was a great job, ladies, by the way. Um, the, the, the additional gym is not only going to benefit the students at CMS. Those, that gym is being utilized by every rec department in all six towns. Their elementary school kids are over there playing basketball. Just go to CMS on a Saturday or a Sunday, and it's not, so it, it's, it's really needed, not only for the benefit of the middle school kids, but for the younger kids as well. The other point Lucy made relative to the cafeteria, the cafeteria, the six lunches are dictating programming and scheduling. Those kids start their lunch every day at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's insane. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of variables that go along with this that are affecting academics, they're affecting the whole uh, parameter of what's going on in the middle school. It's a really important project that needs to pass. We would encourage you to vote. Question? Well, it's more of a comment just to piggyback on that. Also, there are kids who have, might come from poorer homes or something and they the only meal they eat that day is at lunch, and they're not having it until like really late in the afternoon, which also affects their well-being. But also, um, the cafeteria has been split like that since before I went to middle school there, and that was a long time ago, so um, yeah, it really needs to change. <laughs> We have little flyers in the back, please take one. Yeah, I just wanted to mention, if you're in full support of this initiative, and if you're willing to have a, our sign put on your property, um, to have other people aware of it, please contact. Um, I can give you one tonight. Either one, <laughs> any of us, <laughs> any of us, and we'd be happy to and, arrange that for you. And, yeah. and just so you know, all of the advertising that we have done, um, our, our, um, our website, the flyers, the posters, we paid for those personally. There's no taxpayer money spent on any of this. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.